Good morning, YouTube. This is Mel Ray George Page. You know what? I'm not going to go through all this like I usually do. Oof. This is some news that um saddens me and it kind of breaks my heart. I mean, and um, it's just, as you know, I've been, uh, you know, as you know, a while back, I did an interview with a lovely lady, one Miss uh, Rhonda Lee Cashmere. And um, I just saw that on um, IG, one of her friends posted that Rhonda Lee has passed away. And um, it's just sad. I mean, you know, this is a beautiful lady. Um, some time ago, I reached out to her for an interview, and she responded. And ever since then, we, we stayed in contact. You know, um, you know, she, you know, we used to sometimes at night because she lives in the, in California. I live here in North Carolina. We would talk um, via you know texts or on the phone, and you know, she's just a lovely lady. As you know, she was a professional bodybuilder in about the nineties. And then, um, you know, after she turned pro, she competed in a couple of shows, and then she um, left bodybuilding and started modeling. And also, yes, if you know, yes, she did uh, adult film work and some other stuff, too, but that's not important. That's, you know, what's a job, something for her to do, as you know. You know, she, you know the sport of bodybuilding is not very profitable for these ladies, and they had to find a way to make a form of some form of income. But Miss Rhonda Lee, it was a beautiful woman and, you know, just an amazing person. Um, you know, she just, you know, she just had a, a a love for life. And to hear, you know, that she she passed is kind of, you know, it's kind of a setting, you know. It's just like um, when the situation happened with, um, you know, Melissa Coates, also who's from Canada, a great Canadian bodybuilder, you know, a beautiful lady who passed away also, who I was in contact with. But with Ronda Lee, I was a little bit more contact with her. We talked on the phone. She even was the one to introduce me to Miss um, Melissa Coates. She gave her my my email, and you know, I sent Melissa a package like I did for her. And you know what? You know, she's just a great person. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's just, it's just you know, um, so sad here. You know, she was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer about you know a little over three years ago. And pretty much she was going through a lot of hardships, struggling, but she still, you know, kept up, you know, she even worked out and trained. She even trained a good friend, Melissa, uh, Michelle Brent, you know, Michelle Brent back in 2020 and Michelle competed in the Tampa Pro and Michelle, you know, worked with Rhonda Lee and she looked better when she competed in Chicago. But, you know, she was just a, a beautiful soul, you know, and I just to hear the news of her passing is just, you know, just... You know, this is the package I sent her. Um, you know, it was, it was some, she loved it. She appreciated because it, it was that you know that I cared enough to send something like this. You know, but you know, she was an artist and a beautiful person, and and you know, she was having some struggles those uh, last few months. I know one time we were talking, she was saying she was thinking about moving back to Canada. You know, and um, she told me not to say anything about it, but uh. You know, um, I guess she she didn't move back. She still lived in California. You know, she lived there for thirty years. Her, you know, and she met a lot of people, and made a lot of friends over time, and it's just you know, just life's not fair. But you know, it's just how it is. And it's just it's, it's you know, it's, you know, we we'll love to have met her personally. You know, to meet her in person, but. To know her, you know, you know, through the phone and through our interviews was great. I remember, you know, even invited to one of my podcasts. She was a, you know, was a. She gave a little uh, commentary in the last Olympia. Her and um, Alicia Flario, and it was great. I mean, I enjoyed it. I wish my I wish my computer was better back then, where I had both together. Where it was a it was a, it was a garbage computer. But now she's with her loving mother and father, you know, and other friends and families that have known her. You know, I think she was just. A truly a special lady and a great person and there's not much more I can say but you know rest in peace to the, the you know the most beautiful wonderful genuine Miss Rhonda Lee you know cashmere aka baby Lee you know um you know I it's just this this guy hits me a lot harder than any others because this is somebody I really got to know and really was in contact with. Seriously, you know, but (sighs) 
Goodbye, baby Lee.